do a cursory screening of her mouth just to make sure there's nothing big to point out. Kind of look around in places I can't see really well with my mirror. And this is just real quick. You have very nice teeth, Ginger. She does. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stretch up her lips. Look around here. Look around there. And then I'm going to palpate little circles all the way around there. This is kind of a dumb question, but are both of your fingers going in a circular motion or just one of them? Both of them. Both of them. Okay. So you can do that like that if you want to, or you can come here and go around like this. Whatever you want to do is fine. Um, if I end up feeling like I've got both of my fingers wet, I'll wipe it on the napkin. Okay, so I've palpated that, and then go ahead and open for me. I'm gonna look at the buccal mucosa, and then I'm going to palpate it bimanually. And then I'm going to do the other side as well. Okay. And then now I'm going to have her open pretty wide and lift her tongue up to the roof of your mouth. And I'm just looking down here to make sure everything looks okay. Can you open up just a little bit? Just keep your tongue up. That's I know it's hard. <laughs> I can't lift my tongue to the roof of my mouth whenever I have my mouth open. Okay. All right, so I am going to feel the floor of the mouth with one finger first. And then I'm gonna bring my other hand underneath here and I'm gonna try to make my fingers meet. So you're gonna have to put a little bit of pressure. And if there is anything abnormal, you'll be compressing it between your fingers. Okay. Oh, snap. I need a gauze square. Can someone grab that real quick? Oh, and a Q-tip, I think. Yeah, and a Q two Q-tips. So up next is the tongue. Thanks. And if you want, you can wet this down and make it damp so it'll come off the tongue real quick, but I'm not going to do that. Sorry, Ginger. It's okay. out for me. I'm going to lasso it up and then you don't have to stick out quite so far. I don't want to get your freedom. Mm -hmm. okay, and just take a peek way back at the back of it, making sure everything looks okay. And then I'm going to pull it to the other side. And I'm going to look all along the lateral border, make sure everything looks okay. All right. When you have a patient that has a really tied frenum and you can't really do that, I mean, you just you just try to get your mirror back as far as you can. Yeah, and you don't pull hard because it'll hurt. Okay, go ahead and stick your tongue out for me again. I'm gonna just palpate the tongue. And so while cir you're circular motions too. Yeah. While you're doing this, you're gonna look for any abnormalities on there. Sometimes people will have um, like a scar spot in the middle there if they've had a piercing. Okay. Did you feel mine? No, I didn't. No? No. Nope. We flipped the paper over. Thanks. Just <laughs> one point. All right. On the extra oral, do you mark down scars? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to look. Oh, you can keep trying. I'm going to look at the palette. Up here, you may find some tori. You guys have had that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to feel it with just pushing and releasing. She has a tiny tori. It's not big at all. <laughs> if you sweep your finger, you may make them gag, so you don't want to do that. Okay, and open a little bit and say, ah, okay, So you're looking back <laughs> there for um, redness in the throat, enlarged tonsils pus in the tonsils, anything that looks abnormal. Petechiae on the soft palate, anything like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go around my, with my mirror and look at all the gingiva. 
with the purpose of looking at the gingiva. Earlier I did the cursory screening of it, but I'm gonna take my time a little bit this time, just to be sure. And here you're looking for swollen spots, um, fistulas, do you know what fistulas are? Yes. Maybe, some people call them gum boils. Oh. You get them um, when you have an abscess in a tooth. So it would look, almost looks like a pimple inside the mouth. Okay, and then now I'm gonna feel the alveolar process. Start in the back here, and just go circles with your hand, fingers. And I switch it uh, the direction of my fingers at the midline, just to be more comfortable. She has a tiny bit of excess ptosis back around her molars. So a little bit of overgrowth of bone which is not abnormal, but it's notable. Okay. And now we're gonna check for the salivary flow. Thank you. All right, first I'm gonna look at the parotid glands, which hers is hanging out right there. It's nice and prominent. It's gonna be on the, the right beside the first molar. So I want to dry it off and then and I push at it with a Q-tip and it'll either get shiny again or you'll see some saliva drip out. And hers just got shiny again. Let me turn you my way a little bit. So you gotta check both of them. And then um, you would have a light on to look and see a little bit better, but it interferes with y'all taking videos. Oh, I didn't even have to touch that one and some saliva <laughs> came out. All right, so those are good. And now we're gonna do the floor of the mouth. You can just relax, you don't have to. Okay, so I dried off the floor of the mouth, the carnicles down here. There it goes. So when you're doing this, don't be all up in their face because they could leak and shoot you with saliva and that would not be fun. So 